adventures wherever they go. Milo, CJ, Benji, Lulu, Rory, awesome songs and Bible stories. And I'm Marcel. And welcome to the, the Cheeky, Cheeky Panda, Panda Show. We've got a great show today, Martha. Oh, nice. What are we thinking about today, Marcel? Well, today we're thinking about praise, what it means and why we praise God. Ah, oh, that sounds like fun. So what's coming up on the show? Well, we have a huge new song from the Cheeky Pandas and a great special guest. I'm sure the Cheeky Pandas are up to something now, though. Ah, well, why don't we start there, then? Let's head over to the Cheeky Pandas Treehouse Studio. Today, we are observing the Cheeky Pandas in their natural habitat. It turns out it's not the misty mountains of China, but instead in a treehouse studio deep in the heart of England. It is a splendid day in the Cheeky Pandas Treehouse Studio. There seems to be lots of excitement. The pandas have been nominated to win an award for one of their songs. CJ, Benji and Lulu are waiting to hear the big announcement about who has won the award and are feeling very confident. Hello, CJ. You seem to be very busy. Oh, hello, Mr. Narrator. Yes, today is going to be a great day. I'm about to win. I mean, um, we're about to win a duck award for one of our songs. How very exciting. You must be ecstatic. What an excellent day. Get it? Because ducks lay eggs. <laughs> anyway. Hey, CJ. The award ceremony has started. Quick. Put the bamboo TV on. Welcome back to the 25th Annual Duck Awards. We're coming to you live from Scunthorpe, England. This year, the award for Song of the Year goes to... The Cheeky Monkeys! What? Oh, this is bad. Very bad. Oh, dear. Oh, wow. Well. Maybe next time, guys. It seems that CJ has taken the news very badly. Do you think that there is anything that can be done to cheer her up? I have a great idea. We could each do something for her to show her how much we love her. That will cheer her up. Well done, pandas. How very thoughtful of you to show CJ that you love her. We need to get her a gift. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? To, to the, the bamboo, bamboo phone. phone! Uh, hello. I need to order a plant. A very special plant. Right away, please. Thank you. It's, it's the, the Pandaroo delivery. delivery! Awesome! Oh, CJ! We bought you a present to cheer you up. Wow, thank you. Uh, what is it? It's a Venus flytrap. It catches flies. Wow, I don't know what to say. You guys are the best. I was having such a bad day after we didn't win the Duck Award. It seems to me, CJ, that you feel very loved by the kindness of your panda pals. Can you imagine how God feels when we speak or sing about how great he is? Or when we show him how much we love him through our actions? The Bible has a special word for this. It's called praise. But what if you're having a bad day and you don't really feel like praising God? Well, even on bad days, it does us good to praise God because it reminds us of how good he is and how much he loves us. You know, there is a story in your Bibles about two people who chose to praise God when they were having a very bad day. The story is about Paul and Silas. They were locked in prison, even though they had done nothing wrong. Instead of feeling grumpy, they decided to sing, sing, sing and praise God because he is always good. What happened next? Well, my panda friends, their songs were heard in heaven, and their praise rocked the world. An earthquake came and shook the prison doors open. Whoa! Who knew 
knows what God will do when we praise him. We've learned some important lessons today, haven't we, my dear pandas? Yes. Number one, when we praise God, we show him how much we love him. And we remember what an amazing God he is and how much he loves us. On good days or bad days, there is always a reason to praise him. Excellent, pandas. Simply excellent. Don't forget point number two, Mr Narrator. Of course. What's that then, Lulu? Always keep your paws away from Venus flytraps. I've got a great idea for our next song. Praise that rocks the world. To, to the, the song machine! machine. Oh, I love that story. I'm so glad CJ got over not winning the Duck Award. Mm -hmm. You know, if you ever want to buy me a Venus flytrap, I won't say no. <laughs> I'll bear that in mind. Hey, you know that story about Paul and Silas? It's one of my favourite parts of the Bible. I would have loved to have seen their faces when the prison door shook open because of the earthquake. Yeah, that was some powerful praise! <laughs> you know, I think it's time to hear from our special guest for today. I wonder what they think of praise. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? To, to the, the Bamboo, Bamboo TV! TV. <laughs> Yo, I'm Governor B. I'm a rapper and author from London. When I was growing up, my parents took me to church with them and I used to see people lifting their hands as high as they could, singing songs as loud as they could as a sign of praise to God. I didn't really get it. It felt a bit weird. A few years later, uh, I went to a rap concert. People were lifting their hands. They were singing the rap songs as loud as they could and rapping along as a sign of praise. And for some reason, that wasn't weird to me. At the same time, uh, I love football. And so I'd go to West Ham United football matches a lot. When the players walk out of the tunnel, they'd walk out to this song. It goes, I'm forever blowing bubbles. Pretty bubbles in the air. And I'd sing along as a sign of praise to the football team and to show them my support. When they scored a goal, everyone would cheer and praise them. And that wasn't weird to me either. Those rap concerts and those football matches made me realize that maybe we're all designed to praise something. God gives me way more than a rap concert could. He died on the cross so that we could have life. When we praise God, we're showing him that he is deserving of our praise and we are putting him number one in our lives. He brings us hope, peace and a reason to live. So that's why it's important to praise. Thanks for joining us on the Cheeky Panda Show. We're going to pray the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray, the Lord's Prayer. So why don't we say it together now? Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Do you know, I feel like I am learning so much today. I mean, I can't get my head around the fact that we can praise God any time of the day. And any day of the week. And when we praise him, we show him just how much we love him. Do you know, I think the Cheeky Pandas have finished that song they were working on. Woohoo! It's my favorite time of the day. It's time to turn up loud and dance around. Over to you, Cheeky Pandas.
Dance moves. I was definitely keeping up with that song. Yeah, they were definitely very enthusiastic. <laughs> Today has been the best show ever. Yeah, I cannot wait to share what I've learned about praising God with all my friends. And we can pray that they will know just how much Jesus loves them too. That's a great idea. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go practice these dance moves. Uh, and I'm gonna go and buy a Venus fly trap. Well, on that note, I think it's time to say goodbye. So from us and the Cheeky Pandas, a big Thank you for joining us today. See, See you, you next, next time. time.